Hello everybody, in this Rhino Grasshopper video, I would like to demonstrate a configuration that might be of use for the division of a surface. Okay, let's start. Let's use the surface that is being shown in the 3D viewport for illustration purpose. What I'm going to do is I'm going to associate it to a BREP node. Okay. So I right mouse click over the BREP node, set one BREP and associate this to this. Okay. Okay, next I want to introduce you to a component that is uh, essential for our configuration and that is the ISO trim. So double clicking on the canvas, I'm going to type ISO trim. Okay. And yep, this is the component. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, connect this uh, associated BREP to the surface input. By the way, this ISO trim component has a peculiarity, and that is that displaying the component in the full draw full name and the non draw full name mode displays are different um, names. Okay, you can see over here if I were to use the draw full name, this component is called ISO trim. However, if I were to uh, disable this draw full name, it's been relabeled as a uh, subsurf. Okay, so um, this area might be of uh, confusion. Okay, just to point out to uh, the viewer so that um, you will not be confused uh, with regards to this uh, peculiarity. Okay, so um, the next thing I'm going to do is um, to add a Divide domain to component over here. So double clicking on the canvas, type divide domain to. Okay, so this is the component. Okay, you need to associate the output of this divide domain to to the domain input of the ISO tree. Okay, so I can connect this, and the domain input has to be uh, associated with the BREP. So let's connect this. Okay. And you can see that um, the surface has been divided okay, in the U and the V direction. And we can control the division count by the number slider in the U and the uh, V count respectively. So I'm going to maybe uh, put a 9, press out to make a duplicate, connect U and the V. And you can see that. The U and the V now is being uh, divided into uh, eight ah uh, sorry nine segments okay on their respective uh, direction okay so from here we can see that this configuration is uh, useful for dividing up a piece of uh, surface however in order for this division to be um useful we might have to break the individual uh, trim pieces into their component okay and to do that we can use a component component called uh, the deconstruct b rep so double clicking i can type deconstruct b rep okay you can see over here deconstruct b rep and you can connect this result to the input okay over here and your surface will have um, the individual pieces being uh, deconstructed into the faces the edges and the vertices okay um, I think um, let me uh, put a list item over here for you to better understand the organizing structure of this uh, ISO trim. Okay, so let's um, type this item. Okay, and let me just disconnect this for a while. Okay, and connect this. Okay, you can see that. 
currently if I plug a list of items in um, to this isotrim component um, the first piece of the trim surface is being indicated okay so let's say if I were to put a number slider okay and I increase the index you can see that the subsequent trim surfaces are being selected okay so you can see that from here um, that the ISO trim has already broken up the main piece into these are individual pieces in the U and the V direction okay If, let's say you were to uh, plug this this item to the deconstruct B-Rep uh, you can see that only the individual piece has been uh, deconstructed to its uh, respective phase, edges and vertices okay so this is how um, we can manipulate the individual pieces of the main surface okay of course if you want to break all the pieces into their faces edges and vertices we do not need to add the list item we can just uh, merely plug this iso trim uh, output to the input okay this way all the trim surfaces are being deconstructed into their various uh, components namely the faces the edges and the vertices okay then I come to the end of this demo hope that it has been useful see you around bye